Hello, I am back again today, and before I had gotten off last night, um, well, before I went to bed last night, Pentacony released fully, and, well, I did a 10 pull on the new banner, and I am very lucky to say that I did get a 10 star, not 10 star, 5 star, but, Sadly, it was not Black Swan like I wanted. And, well, very sad that was not um, Black Swan. But, I did get someone who I wanted for a very long time. Not Branya, not Japard, not Clara, or JenQ. Kuhn. I got Bailu. And I know I wanted Bailu for a very long time. But something about getting Bailu on my temple really, really got me upset. Like, I love him, but I was kind of going for Black Swan, because now, on the, this, this one, I don't need to get Bailu unless I want her C1. So now the better investment would probably be getting Branya or Japard in my opinion. I kind of would want Japard a bit more than Branya. I know Branya is one of the best supports for buffing and advancing forward actions. But Japard has really good defense potential. I've never spun for any of the... Uh, light cones and this is also a good chance to try to get uh, c1 done hunt because i really want ganfu i think that's what her name was ganfu i think i'm saying i think i'm saying her name right ganfen yuanfen i don't think i'm saying her name right i really want ganfen or the new character mash misha misha I think that's how you say his name. I really did think this was a girl at first until I went to the website on the same day of uh, after watching Star Rail's live stream. <sighs> I'm thinking of doing another 10 hole, but I'm thinking I might just wait until after. The um, login to fully do that. Then to top it all off, I am thinking. Maybe I should skip. Maybe I should skip Black Swan, but I'm not too sure. But on the other note, there's a lot of new events to do. This seems fun. I like Pom Pom, and this I do want to take a crack at, but I think. To start, we should actually go see the cutscenes for what's it called? Anakoni. It's been long awaited, and I think it should bring out Trailblazer's team. Could probably we do this.
Cause I want Klaus on my team. As always. It's nice to have him. Haven't done much with him though. Should probably get this later. And get it soon. Yeah, probably should get this unlocked. Silver Wolf, I still need to work on her traces as well. I should work on his traces too. I'm only I'm only focused on Genji because he was my favorite character. Along with Herda. Huh. Yeah, I'll get it. There is a story in every scar. Alright. I need to increase her critical rate. I think if I, if I actually focus her traces, like, where is it? Which one? Maybe you should increase her critical rate? No, just critical damage. Huh. So I probably need to get better gear. I should actually start swinging for light cones. I have this now. Should probably level that up. Mmm. Yeah, I should probably switch this off. Burn and bleed, that's not really a flying anything. Since it's an ice character. Increases damage dealt by wear by 20%. Also, wear wear deals extra 20% damage to enemies and HP who's currently percentage is equal or higher. Then the wears current HP percentages. This is probably this is actually really good against any boss, technically. I should probably level up some of these. Hmm. I think I'll give this one to her. Just have to enhance it a bunch. Yes, that's what they're for. Well, I have a bunch of those cards, don't I? Let's keep going. All those cards are done. Yes, I'm running out of tears. <laughs> I think I don't have enough tears, do I? Yep. Alright. This is good for now. Meat's not that bad. Yeah, I just need to work on her critical rate so that way it works well with this. Uh, I'll put her on my team. And should I have Genie Wan? Genie Wan is pretty he's he's the most balanced of my characters when it comes to like critical rate and damage. Mm. Silver Wolf. I don't think I have anything for this. What's your effect rate at, honestly? That's pretty well. Here's the chances of applying T bus to a target. Uh, yeah. Mm, I was trying to go for like over 100%.
I have a lot of material I need to get rid of. But on the other hand, right, first hand, confusion. Hmm. I don't have one of these for quantum, do I? I'd probably one of these would be good on her, but then I need to raise her rate. Maybe I should have went for crit rate. How silly. Maybe silly could do for now. Yes, I don't have leveled up. No, I want a better one. Do I have energy? Not too bad. Pilot doesn't need this. Pila. What's a Pila? Um, hmm. Also enhance it. You auto add? Oh, that's so useful. Break effect, I don't mind that. Oh, this just shows what goes up. There's a lot of things that I could get rid of. What's this do? I should probably keep that. I can come in handy later. I shouldn't really use these, but... If I use these... Hmm. Okay. That's Max. I'm gonna brace the defense and her HP. I wish I had gotten critical damage as a substat, especially the, this one. Mm, I wanted to give some with speed, but defense was the best thing I had at that point. I haven't gotten anything with speed, and I don't want to use the items that just let me pick the main stat. Because then it's just a real gamble with the substats. Possibly. It's possibly a good choice. I'll come to that later. Mm. 
Probably comes pretty good. I need to get her talent up. Most definitely I need to work on Sabi. I neglected her for a long time. I only like used her a lot in Bellabog. And then after that, she kind of got weaker and weaker because I didn't focus her. So now, it's just that she's good. I just need to shape up on her. And I get her traces up. Yeah, and then I still need to work on her critical rate. Uh, let's see. Thank you for her critical rate. It's probably I just need to get this, this. I just need this critical rate on it. That's probably it. Or so even a better one of this for critical rate. But for now, this will have to do. I'm not going to be dealing the extra damage. The reason why I put this relic on her is because I do like using her skill a lot more. So I think on my team, I want to bring along Sayli. Well, uh, yes, if I was new to healer. So I think I'll put. Jingling Lu right here. Put in Sayle. And then also put in Ho Ho. I do like having AoE characters, but um what's it called? Jing Lu should be able to handle AoE, single target, AoE a bit, and also aggro, the healer. I don't think I have anything to work on for a whole while. Other than getting these to max. This I should probably go do later. Yeah, I'll do that one later. And I'll get that up. Get this up. Um, what is her resistance at? That was looking for. Right here. And the effect resistance is pretty high. Well, so it should go with a 40% once. There. I think I need to get better relics for her later on. Def most definitely a better version of this. But I haven't farmed any. Yeah. That should be it for the team. Um. Express family. Team setup is done. Now we can go to Pentagon. Now I get text from Bible. Food therapy. Never heard of that before. All right. Should be ready. Am I? I pick it. Yeah, I did. Time to head to the.
next stop. Let's meet up with everyone in the parlor car. All right, here we go. Pom Pom's not here yet? <laughs> Pom Pom knows how to keep people on the edge of their seats. Ahem. Apologies for the delay, dear passengers. Something important came up, so I, the conductor, had to spend some time preparing. I was also wondering how did Marsh know what Rome is. prison and it was the trailblaze that connected it to thousands of stars during that time the astral express once visited Penacony. as with all meetings they inevitably lead to goodbyes as the express's logs indicate it seems some passengers decided to call Penacony their permanent home don't worry just think of it as returning to your hometown. Following the Express's departure, the Stellarons cut off contact to myriad worlds, and Penacony's ownership switched hands several times. Why did these nameless choose to stay here? How did the course of their subsequent lives unfold? And what legacies did they leave behind? Retracing our predecessor's footsteps, that is in itself an adventure, wouldn't you agree? Even if they left the stars behind them, their trailblaze would not be over. That's also what the conductor says, isn't it? According to the passenger list, the three people who got off were Tiernan, Legua, and Rosalina, the Express's guard, mechanic, and surveyor, respectively. No supplementary details are available. The guard, the mechanic, and surveyor. Just leave it to the stars of fate. Considering the namelesses' diversity, perhaps we might even stumble upon their descendants. Or, against the slimmest of chances, the very individuals themselves. We'll conclude today's navigation meeting on this point. There's a bit of time left before we jump. In the meantime, it might be a good idea to double check your bags. I'll broadcast an announcement before we jump! There's still some time before the jump. I should talk to everyone. Hmm. Interesting. Uh. 
Oh, this is so good. I'll be waiting till we make it. Oh, 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 oh. All right. I'm going to stop for here since I spent most of my time team prepping. And I'll pick it up in another video. And I hope you all enjoy. And if you have anything to tell me about my team, who would be a better choice for Panakani since I haven't met any of the enemies yet, I'll leave that up to y'all. And I hope to see y'all there.